Assalamu alaikum everyone, peace be with you guys, welcome back to the Ummah channel. We're really excited to do today's episode which is over the three simple steps that every message should take in order to have a more non-Muslim friendly Jum'ah. Number one, invitations and greetings. Look, the number one reason why non-Muslims don't come to our services, it's not because that they hate Islam or they're Islamophobic, it's because they respect Islam and Muslims and they don't want to interfere into their rituals. That's why an invitation will let them know that we care and we would love for them to be part of our rituals like Jama'ah, right? And having a greeter will be able to, having someone to invite them into the masjid, it show them how the service will go so that when they come they're not confused and they're not wondering if they're being disrespectful or not. Make sure that that greeter is letting them know to stay afterwards so that you guys can go and talk to them after. Step number two is making sure that the khutbah is in English and it is relatable, right? So having an Arabic khutbah, you know, is not going to be that much beneficial towards the non-Muslim brothers and sisters. It might be beautiful and aesthetic, but they won't be able to connect to Islam. So having an English khutbah and a relatable topic will be able to allow the non-Muslim to connect to the Muslim community and Islam itself. Step number three is making sure you go up to them and ask them how they thought the service was. Because some people get a lot of hype and a spiritual boost after they get their first Jum'ah in, right? But if they go home right away, they might lose that hype. So make sure you go up to them, ask them how they feel, let them express themselves, increase their love for the Muslim community, and see what you could do better. Because some people might have bad experiences. So ask them, what could the mission do better in order to make them feel more comfortable? Answer all their questions and let them know that you're happy that they came to your service. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, following these three steps can make your community more non-Muslim friendly. You see, our Ummah is big and beautiful, but we're not the only people in this world. So we need to build connections and relationships with other people outside of our religion because our Jum'ah is amazing and beautiful and beneficial, not just to us, but to our neighbors as well.